Ay, perdón. Back in action like Jesse Jackson, ready for action. So let's get it on like Donkey Kong. Let's go. How are you? Hi, teacher. Very well this night. Just well, very class. Welcome. How was your weekend? Really great, sir. Mm -hmm. I enjoy it a lot. Okay, okay. What about what did, you? What did you do this you weekend? Do? Well, actually, yesterday, um, I shared my time with some friends. Mm -hmm. I play soccer yes. on Sunday. Yes. Where? So we, Where? Lose, we lose the soccer game. Where do you usually uh, play soccer? Uh, do you know Cuscatlan, the department yes. of Cuscatlan? Yes. Parque Cuscatlan? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I always play soccer on Sunday with some friends okay. in that uh, park. Mm -hmm. It was really wonderful to uh, spend the afternoon playing soccer there. Okay. And how many uh, well, hours a day do you practice? Uh, just two hours. Oh, nice. And uh, what position do you usually play? Uh, forward. Okay. And do you make any goals? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh, I am not good enough. 
to score. Oh, I think you are. I think you are. Mm -hmm. You just need to practice more, concentrate. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. What about okay. you? What do you do? Oh, in my case, uh, I like I went to Price Smart mm -hmm. and I went shopping for some things here in my house. Mm -hmm. um, after that, I went to Super Selectos mm -hmm. and I went to buy some things for my house. And beers? <laughs> oh, yes, yes. I bought some uh, with, uh, William Lawson. Wow. Wonderful. It's scotch. It's uh, Irish scotch. Mm -hmm. From Price Mart, I bought a, a bottle. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I had a couple of drinks with orange juice. Just to enjoy the afternoon. Yeah, yeah, with my girlfriend. We Wonderful. Watched, we watched movies. Mm -hmm. uh, we ordered Charlie Boy's. Mm -hmm. uh, we ordered hamburgers from Charlie Boy's. Mm -hmm. We ordered a pizza from Charlie Boy's. Mm -hmm. And we stayed home and relaxed. Wonderful. Yeah. And that was my... And then on Saturday, I I worked in the morning a little bit. And then after that, uh, we went to the park. We went walking. And that's, that's right. In my case, I work from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. So all the day I work that day, but there is an excuse. So it is <laughs> really great to, to work. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay, so guys, this is what we are going to do in this activity. You're going to ask each other the question. Everybody repeat after me. How was? How was? Your weekend. Your weekend. How was? How was? Your weekend. weekend. And then you are going to answer the questions by telling your partner how was your weekend. What did you do this weekend? Any questions? All right. You will have five minutes to practice five minutes to practice the question is how was your weekend ready david and david i'm gonna put you david in number four okay thank you and i'm gonna put andres in number two I I went to the meeting in a hotel Crow Plaza because uh, there are there was a there were a, a assembly annual okay. and uh, Sunday. And I was a uh, clean a house, washing my clothes, and iron my clothes too. Yes, on, yes, only. The meeting in the in the hotel it was interesting, um, because there are a uh, Music, food, and it's pretty. It was pretty. And you? Uh, in my case, it was a uh, uh, little complicated because I was six from Friday. But thanks God that now I'm better. Oh, okay. 
Blanky, are you here? Yeah. How was your week? Good evening. Well, I was. I had a um, relaxing weekend. I think uh, first uh, Saturday I went to cinema. Okay. <laughs> I went to watch a Doctor Strange uh, the second time because I already watched it. <laughs> uh, I went with my best friend and then I went to her house and we played a, a game on the Nintendo Switch that it's called Just Dance. It's, it's really, really funny. And it's hard to play when you have not the condition, the physics condition, <laughs> because you have to dance a lot. Uh, but it, it was funny. It, it was funny. So I enjoyed a lot. And then yesterday I... I stayed on the on the house of my friend, and we watch movies and play another game that it's Mario Party, <laughs> and we enjoyed the weekend. So I'm not complaining about it. Okay. It was really a really good weekend. Sometimes yeah. I have to I have to stay at home and and it's and it's great because I I spend with my family. But this last weekend I I went with my best friend to her house. Uh, okay. What about you, Fernando? Uh, well. Uh, Saturday, I went with my wife to, to the beach because a friend was on birthday. Um, with, with my friend, we celebrated the, the birthday of my our friend. Uh, uh, on Sunday, I watched some uh, soccer matches and I, I was uh, at home, I was at home. I didn't play soccer like every Sunday because I I have problem with my knee, but maybe I will better next weekend. That's that's it. Do you have children? Uh, no, I, I don't have any children yet. <laughs> mm. Okay.
All right, all right. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Is everybody finished or do you need more time? We finished. All right, all right. Did everybody finish? We finished. Everybody yes. finished. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay, excellent, excellent. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to change partners. We are going to change partners. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Let me see. David is on seven. And David is on seven. And then we're going to have William. Good. Francisco. Doris. Jessica. Okay. We're going to put Jessica in room four. Okay. There we go. All right. Ready? Let's go. Yeah, and I'm asleep since that, and then I woke I woke up at seven and a half. Uh, before the class. <laughs> yeah, before the class. Okay, sound great. So today you don't going going to hear that that I'm sleepy. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. But, what how was your weekend oh uh, was so so good because i spent a lot of time with my daughter and with my family i spent time with my with my mother too so i was taking a lot of nap i was relaxing and i was yeah. watching tv it's good to relax to take time to relax yes yeah. Oh, this is the reason why it was good. And what about you? Uh, I had uh, a relaxing weekend too. I went with my best friend to watch again for me, <laughs> Doctor Strange. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you, I already, I, oh, I already watched it. You tell me something about that. Yeah. You recommend me? Yeah. If okay. you like, you if you more. like the UFC, more, you have to watch it. Okay. okay. But only one thing: you have to watch a uh, Wanda Vision and the series that it calls um, "What If," because I had a lot of reference about that. Oh, okay. 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 No more. Okay, I went with my friends to the cinema and then I spent time on her home, on her house, sorry. <laughs> and we played with the Nintendo uh, Just Dance and also Mario Party. Okay. And, and I stayed till 6 p.m. of yesterday. So I spent the night of the Saturday and all the all day yesterday so it was great because i love to spend time with her and with her family yes i can <laughs> sound great really yeah it was great and you andres how are you uh, for me it was a little complicated because i was sick i, I was sick uh, on friday friday I had to request a permission in my job and I had to go to the doctor. And then the weekend, I, I was sick too, but 
I I took uh, medicine and now thanks God I I'm better. Ah, that's great. It's it's awful to to be sick on weekend because it's your time off and you are really want to take rest but not sit. It's it's awful. But yes. it's good that you are better. So thanks. And the movie that you were talking about is a new movie, so yes. Doctor Strange. Uh, this is the new movie. Okay, I have there is seen Francisco. Francisco hello. is it, it's in here too. Yes, hello, Francisco. Hey, hello. How was your weekend? Nice. Ah, I was um, a very heavy, um, a little heavy, sorry. Ah, okay. You, you were work? Do you have work no. to no, do? No, no, no. No, yesterday? Yeah? No, 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 no. Uh, no, uh, my weekend is, was a little heavy because I was working in my house. Oh. Mm -hmm. I was I was a uh, cleaning the I don't know how do you say el canal de the sawa de la casa. <laughs> I don't know to no sé cómo se llama esa parte del techo. That that's something that I never called so <laughs> I I don't know how it's called. Yes, but um, yesterday was a, a little heavy, but it's no. Um, you had a lot of work to do, buddy, on your house. So it was hard for you. Yes, because I don't know if you can see the. Cortadura, a little cut. Ah. That's, that's right, a, a cut. A cut, yeah. A cut. Mm -hmm. Because I need to move some uh, parts of the, I don't know, canal. Waterway. That it's right. That's right, teacher. Sorry, can you repeat the question? Waterway is the name of. Canal del Desagüe del Techo. Yeah. Oh yeah, you could say uh, ducks. The ducks. Ducks. Uh -huh. Ducks. Ducks. Okay. The ducks. I was cleaning the ducks. Oh, I'm so sorry for yeah. you. Nice. <laughs> Normal. It's okay. You like yeah, it. Okay. Mm, yes, I like it. Uh, fix it some things like this. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. Do you enjoy? Yeah, because uh, I don't know. I like it to have a uh, cleaning this part of my house uh -huh. because for the weather, it's sometimes maybe the rain is very heavy. Uh, mm -hmm. I need to 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 have. Um, no sé cómo decirlo. Construida las tuberías a veces. Ah, uh, the plumbing built. The plumbing sorry. Built the plumbing built. built. Ah, the plumbing built. Okay, let's go, guys. All right, let me have one volunteer, one volunteer. Let me have one volunteer, one volunteer. I said one volunteer, one volunteer. Let me have one volunteer, one volunteer. For what, teacher? To express how was your weekend. 
Ah, well, my, my weekend was boring. I am wow. not a good. <laughs> 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 because I, I relaxed a lot. And uh, mm -hmm. Sunday I went to the church. And the rest of the day I, I, I get relaxed, uh, rest, uh, read a lot, and watch a movie. Uh, relax. Nice. Sounds like you had a very good weekend. <laughs> yes, I, I, I rest a lot. They say that an intelligent mind is never bored. Yes, yes. I, I like to stay in home. I like to read. I like to take a good cup of coffee. And uh, I enjoy. Yeah, yeah. David, select like somebody. Uh, select somebody. Yes. Uh, uh, I need something young like uh, Blanca Stephanie. Oh uh, my this goodness. This people have a, a good weekend. <laughs> ah, okay. Blanca Stephanie. Talk to us. How was your weekend? <laughs> Erwin, okay. hello. Okay. Well, I spent time with my best friend uh, all the weekend because I, I have to watch uh, for the second time Doctor Strange with her because for her, the first her work, uh, we have to postpone. So, uh -huh. so we went to the cinema on Saturday. Uh -huh, and uh -huh. then we went to her house, her home. Yeah. House. Yeah. yeah. Her house. Her house. And we played a, a game on the Nintendo that it's called Just Dance. Oh, and Just Dance, 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 yeah. Dance, Dance, Dance. We, we have to, we have to play almost, I, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, five songs, but it's hard because you have to ha you have to have a no, good condition, a physical you, you, condition. You, you have to be in <laughs> you shape. Have, you have to yeah, be that's right. in shape. You have to be in shape because if you if you don't, you you will die. <laughs> or you can because say you it, have it's really hard. to be fit. You can also yeah. say it like that. You have to be fit. Okay. Okay. Or, or, or in shape because that is not necessarily fit because sometimes when people are in shape, uh, uh, they they can, I, I don't know, they can do things like walk uh, on on the volcano or something uh -huh, like uh -huh, that. Uh -huh, correct. And, and not necessarily they are fitness but uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. you have to be in shape because yeah. you only yeah. you're only going to dance a few a few songs <laughs> i imagine but, how many songs did you dance uh, of, uh, almost, i think only five songs. wow you are in <laughs> shape no because some people they dance i don't know 12 songs. Oh my and, God. And the songs that I danced it was on the easy mode. Ah, so, easy mode. Mode, yeah. Easy sorry. mode. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. <laughs> and then and then we play Mario Party because we don't support the. the oh, I love <laughs> Mario exercise. Party. <laughs> yeah, it was a, so, a really great weekend. So your friend has a Nintendo Wii. Switch. Nintendo Switch. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's cool. She, had, that's cool. she has a, a Nintendo Switch. Yeah, I like the Nintendo Switch. It's very fun. Okay, yeah. thank you, Blanca. Select somebody. Jocelyn Imelda. Jocelyn Imelda. Jocelyn Imelda. Tell me, teacher. How was your weekend? Wait, talking about my weekend on Saturday, I worked the whole day until 4 p.m. But at night, I went to the bungalows. 
with my daughter and some friends. Delicious uh, bungalows. Mm. Yes, it's a nice place, but it's really full of people every single day. I don't know why. It's the weather was really popular. nice. Yes, it is. And the weather was really nice. Um, Sunday, I went to Caluco with Cal my mom. Caluco? Yes. Where is that? Uh, it is part of the Ruta Panoramica. Okay. So, uh, go to provide to the others, be honest. Uh, but, the, but the place is really nice. Uh, it's really famous just because we went with to, to drink, sorry, to drink a very nice suit. Yes, Caluco, I went with Caluco my brothers. Thermal waters. Sorry? It's thermal waters. Yes. Yes. It, very good. Yes. Very nice. Yes. Sorry. Yes. Sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, oh, I went with cool. my brother and my mother to start celebrating the Mother's Day. Oh, nice. So it was your pre Mother's Day celebration. Yes. Yes, it was. Oh, nice. Well, I'm happy to hear that you enjoyed it so much. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, guys, welcome back. We are going to go ahead and get started and move forward. We're going to go to the student book. In the previous class, we looked at these conversation questions. Then we looked at this vocabulary. After that, we analyzed some videos on YouTube. Today, I would like for us to go over and review this vocabulary. I would like for you to take a couple of minutes, maybe five minutes, and I want you to discuss in pairs, what is the meaning of these business terms? What is the meaning of these business terms? And then when you are finished identifying the meaning of the business terms, you're going to come over here on the platform where it says discussion number three. And you are going to write down here in the discussion forum, you are going to write the definition that you investigated about these terms. Any questions? You can write the same definition as your partner and one student can share the screen. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let me put David is going to be on number three, David. And then we're going to have Thelma is going to go to number five. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's go. Hi, how are you? Very well. Um, let's just work about it, the topics. So do you have access to the platform for it? Right? Okay. Uh, in my case, I cannot get in on the system yet. Can you be so kind to share the, the screen, please? Okay. Let me mother, please. I can I can share a screen. Mm -hmm. I can't. Yeah, you can share it. Yeah, you can. Yes. I I act, I activated it. Okay, sorry. Okay. Manuel, can you see it? Yes, I can see it. Okay. Look. 
Somebody can share the screen. Oh, okay. Uh, somebody can share the screen. Yeah, turn on the phone and and the screen. Somebody can uh, share the screen. Okay, it was disabled. Now you are. Uh... Yeah, you can share the screen. Okay, let me try. Now, now, now you can share the screen. Now you can share the screen. Actually, not yet, teacher. Yeah, you can. Now you can. Oh, okay. Si es tóxica, ¿verdad? Y ahora. Ya es hora, te dice. No le da su tiempo. Ay, no. We have to to search about this find out differentiation yes the, term, the definition okay <clears throat> and en cual dijo en cual de los teníamos que escribir el, el significado um, okay we have to to share about the definition of these words and then, uh, but I don't have access to the platform. Okay. Um, uh, 1.4. No. Oh, yes. I don't know. Yes, one point four. <clears throat> mm -hmm. The first definition I don't know. Back in action. Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, the word, sorry, <laughs> the words that we have to uh, define, uh -huh. I think. Uh -huh. uh, there are the, the building vocabulary of the page number 10. Uh, let me see. Let me share my screen. This one right here. This is page ten. Yeah. Okay. 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 That's that's the question. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I was confused. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes, of course. Okay, Fernando. That is the the page ten. Sorry. <laughs> I was confused. We have to watch the video first. Mm, I think that we can. Or only we are looking for the concept on Google. Or... Yeah, I think that we can search for this word. What are the concepts? Okay. That's right. That's the idea. Okay. Find out differentiation. Okay. Points of differentiation, also known as points of difference, mm -hmm. <laughs> are characteristics of a product or service that distinguish, distinguish from competitors. Okay. 
These unique characteristics are incentives that can persuade. I, I'm going to. Oh my God! I'm, <laughs> I don't know how to how to share that concept. Maybe. I don't know okay. if you if you already find some some concept about that. There are... I don't know if I can change the font of the text here. No. Ah. Points of difference. Points of difference. But the problem is, I have to scroll. But so here I changed. This. How do I, how but I, you have to write it on the on the discussions of the video. Uh -huh. okay. On the platform. On the platform, yeah. But we had to, to, to put that concept on the platform. Yeah. But on In the what one point one, one point eight or what 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 video? Or, or where, William? Um, can you share your platform? Yes. I think it is in the third. This. Mm -hmm. This. Can mm -hmm. discuss negative effects on lack of program for professional development. Below the this video, we have to put the concepts. Mm -hmm. uh, what video? One four four point four. Mm. Okay. When it said discussion. Mm -hmm. Sorry for the noise behind me, but my mom is watching videos. <laughs> it's getting <laughs> ready for tomorrow. <laughs> it's watching videos from from Facebook, so she spent <laughs> her time with that. Others. Are you writing? Okay. I already, I already. Uh, I, I don't know if that the, this video uh, <laughs> is related with the with that content. I book. don't think so. I don't think so. But I, I already make a a post about point of differentiation. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is the right video. We can search the other keywords. I will, I will keep the the concept. Of, uh, soft skills. 
I, I don't know if you if you can see the the post that I that I made. Yes. Yes, there are. There is. There is. There is. Yeah. You can respond that. Yeah, you can. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. We can we can put uh the other the other concept in there, I think. Uh -huh. There is yeah. soft skills. Soft skills. Soft skills. Definition in Vestopedia. What are soft skills? Soft skills are character traits and interpersonal skills that characterize a person's relationship with other people. In the workplace, soft skills are considered to be a complement to hard skills. Okay, that doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> which refers to a person, knowledge, and a ah, skill. Socialists may use the terms of the skills to describe a person, emotional intelligence, question, as opposed to intelligent question. Okay, I don't understand. <laughs> Oh my God, that is the, the other, the other concept. Yes. <clears throat> I never met, I made a post. Oh my God. <laughs> While you're searching, turn over post. Mm -hmm. Paid off. All right, guys, is everybody finished or do you need more time? Finished, teacher. All right, excellent, David. Everybody else, are you finished or do you need more time? We're finished, teacher. Finished, okay. Who can give me the definition of the first one? What is the definition? Yes, teacher, the definition of point of differentiation, mm -hmm. also known as point of difference. Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. Characteristic of a product or service that's, that distinguishes it from competitors. Mm -hmm. These unique characteristics are incentives that can persuade consumers to choose mm -hmm. your business or offering over others. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Can somebody give me the definition of soft skills? soft skills. Can somebody give me the definition? 
Okay, teacher. Uh, I found it the definition is soft skills are character traits and interpersonal skills mm -hmm. that characterize a person's relationships with other people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That is correct. Soft skills are how you relate with others at work. Who can tell me what is turnover costs? Turnover costs. What are turnover costs? Me teacher. Yes. Turnover cost refers to expenses, both tangible or intangible associated with replacing an employee. Turnover cost includes items like unemployee compensation, COBRA benefits, continuation cost. Perfect. And that's what companies try not to do, right? They don't want to be changing employees. Every time they change an employee, it's another training, more costs, more expensive. They don't want to do that, right? Thank you. The last one, payoff. What is Me a payoff? Care. Yes, go ahead. A result that rewards you for your effort or work. Correct. Or there is money paid to someone for something that you want done or to not cost you trouble. That is That's correct. Smart. That the, is the correct. Business. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now for the next activity, well, what, what I want you to do is we're going to be looking at the student book and you're going to be looking at this article, key effects of development planning and its negative effects for the organization. So you're going to look at this article right here. And you are going to discuss what it speaks about. You're going to select the article, read it, and then talk about it. Any Teacher, questions? can you show me the book, please? Of course. The book is this one, the student book. Yeah, I want to know what is the page. This is coming from page number 12. Thank you. Page number 12. What article, teacher? Uh, well, in this case, you guys are going to click on the link, right? This link, the first one. Always the Forbes. The Forbes. Forbes uh -huh. come. Yeah. The Forbes. Okay. And then you're going to come to this page. And then you're going to select an article and read it similar to last time. Work in pairs and read the article, the same pairs. Ready, let's go. Uh, one person can share the screen. Okay, teacher, thank you. Which article do you guys find that is interesting for you?
We have to select just one. <laughs> yeah, one that you think that is attractive and that you will enjoy. Okay. Okay, Tema. Select one. Dory, sorry. Hey, you can share your screen. Yeah, actually, we have a question. Yeah, uh, which, exactly which article we have to read? Where it oh. says, Dow drops 500 points. You can go over here. And you can select one. Um, you can select Ma for example, Madison Carter. Yeah, if you want to select Madison Carton's campaign, AI. Um, you could you could read about technology, the stock market drop. Uh, you select one that you like. Texas home appraisals are at all time high. Nice. I work in real estate, so that's uh, that's attractive to me. Yeah, you just select one that you find that's attractive that you think you like. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. One person can share the, the screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. One person can share the screen. Are you able to see it? Yes. Yes, oh. I can see it. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Okay, which are you one more issue? Francisco. Uh, let me check. Let me check. Uh, what do you think about the US? US other other I uh four four thousand four thousand twenty eight thousand no yo vi en april no sé cómo leer esa cantidad dos cuatro mil doscientos no, 
U.S. added four hundred and twenty-eight thousand. Uh huh. Jobs in April. Beating, beating expectation as hot labor market spurs speeds rates hikes. That one. Okay. They had a call from the US, kind of weird. Yes. Yes, I think that's it. Yes. US. Okay. Quieres comenzar? Bien. Go ahead. Okay, the US are other added. Added. Other back another. Quatrocientos <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, job is April. Uh, performing, performing, or performing. Performing bearing that economics expect as, as the strong labor. Uh, labor market recovery on recovery eco always encourage encourage federal resolve officials to more aggressively crazy inter interested right Rates. Right, rates, rates in their thing. The fight. Fight. The fight against inflation. The fight against inflation. Mm -hmm. Inflation. Mm -hmm. Inflation even as a stock tumble over the mm, potential in Flickers, no. Implicitors or implicit for Ernest Robert. Ernest Grove. Yeah, growth, yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's just the two of us or I other mass? Or Telma. Okay. Yes, I'm here. Boys, <laughs> you want to be uh, next? Or uh, I was reading, you're reading a different article, yes, the article. But I I would like to uh, listen how to you read this article, please. Okay, effects at the beginning, please. Job gain in April surface surfaced the uh, roughly four hundred thousand new jobs. Yeah. Economies had forecast and match revised. Estimates for employment growth in March, according to the day released Friday by the Labor Department. Growth was widespread and led by gains in leisure, manufacturing, transportation, and warehousing. The government said, despite the better than expected against the unemployment rate remained flat at 3.6%, close to a pre-pandemic pre rate of 3.5% in February 20, 2020 when unemployment was half, however, however in at its lowest level, since 
Let me see. Continue. May I continue? Yes. Thanks. Amit? Amit is a, is a, a person. Really? I don't know. Amit. Amit, all the world's troubles and volatility in financial markets. The job market trains on bank credit analyst Mark Hamrick said after the release, pointing out that April March the 20th, 12th, wow. excuse me, 12th consecutive, consecutive month in which employers, employers added more than four, 400,000 jobs. The strong number and elevated wage growth of 5.5% over the past year show, should support the FIS plan, FIS plan to raise interest rates to cool rising inflation, which in vain, uh, which in vain driven in part by the tight labor market. Say Robert's chains of blank, blank change health management, predicting weights, weights will likely remain elevated through year sound. Um, I tried. I, I would like okay, to okay. okay. After losing more than uh, 20 million jobs at the hey, hey of pandemic, uh, uncertainly, uncertainly in the spring of 2020, yeah. the labor market has quickly um, for forcefully let the economy's recovery in the face of freezing uncertainly, uncertainly. The US economy continues at other job at, at um, remarkable. remarkable, remarkable run. Great. Uh, Rate, remarkable rate. Uh, morning. Yes. Morning consul chief economist John Lear said in email it. Email it. Email it. Comment or oh, content. No, oh. comment. Comment oh. right. 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 But the um, caution, how is it? Caution. Caution. Caution that the growth will be hard to maintain as the fail raises interested rate in the next few months. Few months. A reason that is use the weight monetary monetary policy workers the draft three three the draft oh, three huh? the draft of raising interest rate with them with them to hurt company Earnings, yes, earnings has mm, but better, 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 better. I don't know. Ready? I'm not a teacher. <laughs> 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 Only the teacher can correct them. No sé cómo pronunciar. Has 
Buried, 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 heavy. But the yeah. Nas, Nas Nasdaq, Nasdaq. Nasdaq. Pero tiene una Q. Nasdaq. Nasdaq. Es, Nasdaq. es nombre de alguien, de algo. Nasdaq. Nasdaq no. Nasdaq no. More than eh, 22% for years. For years. the years. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> please continue, <laughs> Mr. Cortez. Yes, <laughs> please. <laughs> On Wednesday, Pet Nofit shared Jeremy Powell called, that's a weird name. Yeah. Called the ro robust labor market a bright spot for the economy as he institute the largest interest rate hike in 22 years to help cooling inflation, which last month's clock in at the highest rate since December 1981. Over the weekend, Bank of America economist Eden Harris, Eden Harris wanted that the the key risk to the economy is that inflation remains elevated next year. Re recession risks are low now, but elevated in 2023 as inflation could, could force the Fed to hike into it hurts. He said last month's consumer's price index report will be released on Wednesday and the Fed's next policy meeting, meeting concludes on June 15th. For the reading and inflation this may be so starting. Does it continue? No. no. It's reference. Ooh. Only. Yeah. As in inflation, etc. No, etc. Et is, is reference. Let's listen to the no, no. <laughs> Let's listen oh. to the case. U.S. added 428,000 jobs in April, beating expectations as hot labor market spurs Fed rate hikes. By Jonathan Ponciano. Top line. The U.S. added back another 428,000 jobs in April, performing better than economists expected as the strong labor market recovery encourages Federal Reserve officials to more aggressively raise interest rates in their fight against inflation. Igualito, yo. <laughs> Sin respiración. Key facts. Okay, now. <laughs> Key facts. Okay. Job gains in April surpassed the roughly 400,000 new jobs economists had forecast and matched revised estimates for employment growth in March, according to data released Friday by the Labor Department. Growth was widespread and led by gains in leisure, manufacturing, transportation, and warehousing, the government said. Despite the better than expected gains, the unemployment rate remained flat at 3.6%, close to a pre pandemic rate of 3.5% in February 2020 when unemployment was hovering at its lowest level since 1969. Amid all the world's troubles and volatility in financial markets, the job market grinds on, Bankrate analyst Mark Hamrick said after the release, pointing out that April marked the 12th consecutive month in which employers added more than 400,000 jobs. The strong number and elevated wage growth of 5.5% over the past year should support the Fed's plans to raise interest rates to cool rising inflation which is being driven in part by the tight labor market, says Robert Shine of Blank Shine Wealth Management, 
predicting wages will likely remain elevated through year's end. Key background. After losing more than 20 million jobs at the height of pandemic uncertainty in the spring of 2020, the labor market has quickly and forcefully led the economic recovery. In the face of rising uncertainty, the U.S. economy continues to add jobs at a remarkable rate, Morning Consult Chief Economist John Lear said in emailed comments Friday, but he cautioned that the growth will be hard to maintain as the Fed raises in All right, let me have one volunteer. One volunteer. Me, teacher. All right, David, please tell me what is the title of the article and what it's about. Okay, we read, uh, we read six ways your smartphone can make you smarter financially. Financially. Financially, 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 okay? Mm -hmm. And there's uh, six apps that help you to, to make, uh, reduce your expenses, reduce your bills, uh, reduce your, uh, mm, your subscriptions. And uh, it, some of them, uh, give you the opportunity to the rest of your spends. Uh, maybe if you spend two and eighty two dollars and eighty cents the less 20, 20 cents uh, the apps uh, sent to an account and uh, at the end of a period you have some money for pay debts oh nice nice sounds very interesting would you download one of those apps? Yes, many many of the of the apps are uh, are paid, but there are two of them that are free. Uh huh. Uh, but the the ones that are free uh, give you a uh, uh, many uh, ads. But oh. let me show uh, quickly. Yes, definitely do this it. This is. This is uh, ways, and uh, uh, there are the the apps. The first one is uh, Quicken mm -hmm. or Simplify. Simplify is the actual name. The Quicken was the the very old name, Quicken, and the, uh -huh. the, the the new application is Simplify. Uh -huh. This uh -huh. is this is one Simplify. Uh -huh. uh, the other one is Coins. Okay. Coins. Can you share this link with yes. the group chat, please? I want to yes. look into this. I put it in the chat. Thank you. Right, right now. Thank you. This is very useful information. I will look at it. Wow. Okay, guys, what do you think about this? What do you think about this, guys? Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Um, Hi. So I didn't hear. Um, to be honest, I didn't hear anything. Just I come back. Uh, I was discussing with uh, my partner. So I didn't hear it. So can you refresh the information a little? Oh uh, yes, of course. Yes, of course. Uh, he was speaking about six ways mm -hmm. your smartphone can make you smarter financially. Okay. Yeah, really, Some really, really, really interesting. Uh, okay, guys, right now I need to take the attendance. When I call your name, please say present. Axel. Axel. 
Axel is absent. Okay. Number two, Andres Giovanni. Present, teacher. Present. The next one, Blanca Stephanie. Present. Awesome. David Samuel. Present, teacher. Thank you. David, ahora se va a quedar usted conmigo diez minutos. Excellent. Thank you, David. Dora Elizabeth. Present. Present. Erwin Lagos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Fatima Lourdes. Fatima Lourdes. Absent. Fernando Ernesto. Present. Present. Fer Francisco Amadeo. Can you hear the chat? Present. Fredis Vladimir. I hear. Present. Jarvin Isaac. Present. Present. Kenya Esmeralda. Present. Present. Madeline Yamilet. Present. Present. Manuel de Jesus. Present. Present. Marlon Stanley. Marlon Stanley. Absent. Thelma Clotilde. Present. Teacher. Present. William Alexander. Present. Jessica Yanari. Jessica Yanari. Absent. Jocelyn Imelda. Jocelyn Imelda. Absent. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. Now, we're going to go ahead and move forward. And for the next activity, I would like for us to look at the activity on the platform. And we are going to go where it says this one right here. We're going to look at 1.5 Tarea instructions. If there is a lack of programs for professional development, these consequences might be faced. Read the definitions and match it with the work with and match it with the consequence. So you we will already, have we already do did that teacher. We did this one already? Yes. Okay, let's do it together then. What is number one? Unhappy, unsatisfied unhappy. employees. Okay, unhappy, unsatisfied employees. Thank you. The next one, your employees are not provided with adequate health and safety training. Workplace accidents. Workplace accidents. Yeah. Uh, poorly trained employees are likely to feel unappreciated in their jobs. As a result, they will either leave in search of better opportunities or you will be forced to fire them for underperforming. Increase star, staff turnover. Perfect. The next one, poorly trained employees are likely to feel undervalued, which will reduce workplace productivity, loyalty, and engagement. Reduce productivity. Reduce productivity. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. All right. We're going to go ahead and look at this one. 1.7. Read the following statements and choose whether it is a benefit or not a benefit when talking about trainings. You will have five minutes and then we will check together. 
Ready, let's do it. You are already in there. Hello, William. One point. Uh, one point seven. The homework on the platform. Yes. Okay. Someone can share the screen. Okay, you already do it. <laughs> yes. My God, Don Fernando. <laughs> okay, we can read it if you want. Go ahead. Okay, increase job satisfaction and moral among employees, increase employee motivation. That is a benefit. Moral. Okay. Increase efficiencies in processes resulting in financial loss. No, the benefit. No, the benefit. Okay. Increase capacity to adopt new technologies capacity. and methods. capacity. Sorry. Increase. Capacity increase capacity to adopt new technologies and methods. That it's a benefit. Increase innovation in strategies and products. Yeah, it makes sense that it's a benefit. Increase employee turnover. Oh, that it's a that isn't a benefit. Okay. That was easy. Not because that's because it's already answered. <laughs> <laughs> it's just because the, the concept that makes sense with benefit and not ben not a benefit. So mm -hmm. <laughs>
All right, let me have one volunteer. Please give me the answer for number one. Benefit. Benefit. Number two. Not a benefit. Not a benefit. Number three. Benefit. Benefit. Number four. Not a benefit. Not a benefit. Number five. Not a benefit. Not a benefit. Correct. So increased innovation, that's a benefit. Increased capacity, benefit. Decreased efficiency, not a benefit. Increased job satisfaction is a benefit. So it's benefit, not a benefit, 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 not a benefit. Okay, so for this activity, we're going to be looking at section number eight. Let me have David read for me from the beginning over here. David. Yes. Uh, whenever there are three or more items in a series, each item requires punctuation to separate it from the others. The items in a series can consist of any words, phrases, or clothes. The comma before the last element in the series is optional. Okay, uh, I want you to read this section, A and B. Okay. In order to keep growing professionally year after year, it's necessary to maintain, improve, and broaden your set of skills. Perfect. Continuous professional development can be done in different ways, such as self-directed learning, mentoring, and reading a wide variety of topics. Very good. Variety. Select somebody, David. Let me see. Uh, Manuel? Manuel, read this part, please. Okay. Um, occasionally separating the item in a sentence with comments only, omitting an or, or another coordinating conjunctions before the last item can help to add emphasis on what is being said. Uh, we encourage our employees to think about it what they want to do, uh, find out what skill they, they need, uh, pinpoint their ambitions, um, a continuous professional development approach uh, will, help, will help you uh, analyze your performance, be more eff effective, increase overall adaptability to changes. Very good. So here, what we're going to do is identify the correct punctuations in the following ones. We, we already do this, this too, teacher. Yes, I know, but some people had questions. So okay. we want to review it just to make sure yes. that everybody understands. Okay. Uh, read, the, read the first one for me, Doris. Okay, we would like to make a certain comma that the member are making a meaningful contribution to the development of the core work, comma, competencies, knowledge, comma, processes, comma, and procedures, skill. Very good. And the... Okay, so okay. in this example, we say contribution to the development of their core work competencies, comma, knowledge, comma, processes, comma, and procedure skills. The last comma is optional. 
Questions about number one? No, no. Okay. Uh, let me have Francisco Amadeo, number two, please read it for us. All right, Thelma, please read number two. Right. I appreciate the aspect of a person's role in their own professional develop development is to be up to date and aware of the current trends, topics, leg legislation. Mm. And regulations. Coming and regulations related to their profession. Hmm. Mm. Teacher. Yes. I would like to um, help us mm -hmm. the uh, the uh, the repetition and the pronunciation because. Mm -hmm. I don't understand how to, what is pronunciation? Okay, okay. Uh, about the, the sentence, please, please. Yes, of course. Everybody, please listen and repeat. A crucial aspect. A crucial aspect. Of a person's role. Of a, a person's, person's role. role in their own professional in their, in own, their own, professional own professional development development, development is to be up is to be, to be up, up, up to date to, to date and aware and aware, and aware, and aware of the current trends of the current trends, trends. Topics, 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 legislation, legislation, legislation and regulations, and regulations, regulations related to their profession. Related, related to, to their, their profession. profession. So we're gonna say, up to date and aware of their current trend, the current trends, topics legislation this one is optional and here no no comma related to their profession okay go ahead and select somebody please Thelma for number three okay professionals who help people continue uh, their uh, profession? Excuse me. Uh, uh, Thelma, you're, I want you to select another student to participate. Okay, excuse me. You say Thelma. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. It's okay. Who do you select? Okay. Um, I, I would like. Mm -hmm. To repeat this sentence, excuse me, Erwin, Erwin Lagos, please. All right, Erwin Lagos, please yeah. read for the class number, number three. three. Oops, okay. Professionals who help people continue their professional development, comma, are committed of, to providing and peer learning, comma, opportunities, comma, tools, and research to help them meet their goals. So here we're gonna say, professionals who help people continue their professional development are comma. committed. No, no, no. Ah, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no comma. No comma, are, yes. Are committed to providing ample learning opportunities here here is the first comma. Yes. True. Tools is the second comma. And resources 
to help them meet their goals. Yes. Excellent. Questions okay. about number three. Okay. Let's go over number four. Go ahead, uh, Erwin. Select somebody, please. Erwin, uh, we can't hear you. Yeah, yeah, teacher. Jarvin is hack. Who? Jarvin. Jarvin Isaac Guevara. Okay, number Go four, ahead. number five, teacher. Uh, read number four, please. Okay, technical professional development refers to any piece of learning related to your industry, which may include professional qualification conference, only learning and grading, I can hear, grading and grading technical articles. Excellent. So here we're gonna say technical professional development refers to any piece of learning related to your industry, which may include professional qualifications, conferences, which may include professional qualifications. Comma. Comma, very good. Conferences. Conference. Comma. Online learning. and writing and reading technical articles. Perfect. Thank you. Go ahead, select somebody, please. I select William. William Alexander. Number Number five, teacher. Number five, please. Okay. Uh, Non-technical professional development refers to soft skills that can be applied in any industry, management, leadership, and strategy development. So here we're going to say We're going to go non-technical professional development refers to soft skills that can be applied in any industry, management, leadership, and strategy development. Perfect. Okay. Now the last one, William select somebody for the last one. Uh, Fernando. Fernando Ernesto. Fernando Ernesto. Go ahead. The last one, Fernando. Uh, some examples of professional development options include online learning, reading, articles, and reports, uh, conferences, workshops, seminars, and virtual classrooms. Yes. Perfect. So we say some examples of professional development options include online learning, reading articles, and reports. Maybe this is only one, reading articles and reports. Could be reading articles and reports. And then that's a comma. Conferences, comma, workshops, comma, seminars, comma, and virtual classrooms. So this one has a lot. Professional development options include, I personally, uh, in my case, I learned, well, I have learned a lot of things 
with uh, online learning, uh, I have learned a lot, a lot, a lot of information with online learning, uh, basically on YouTube. You know, I look at a topic and then I just write the topic and I start studying sales, um, appointment settings, foreclosure properties, probate properties, drop shipping, passive income. Um, I mean, so many different things that you can learn online for free. Okay, any questions about this topic over here? Somebody? Okay, so this is basically a review. I know that there were a couple of peoples that were asking me, so I hope that was a help to you. Now, what we're going to do is move forward in the student book, and I would like for us to work from page number 15, and I would like for us to answer the questions. Listen, please. Have you ever attended a training program? Repeat, please. Have you ever attended a training program? Have you, Have you ever, ever attended, attended a training, training, training program, program that did not address that did not address, did not address the specific needs of your workplace area. Is the specific needs of the workplace area. Does management or HR? Does management or HR, or HR usually conduct surveys? Usually conduct surveys. At your workplace. At your, at your workplace. workplace. To identify your training needs. To identify your training needs. training needs. Can you name three skills? Can, Can you, name you name three, three skills? skills? Of yours improved. Of yours improved. Yours improved. Yours improved as a result of training programs you have taken. As a result of training programs you have taken. You have taken. Do you have any questions related to these questions? I'm sorry, can you repeat please? I'm sorry? I'm sorry. Hello, hello? Did you understand what he said, guys? I, I think we lost the, the audio. We okay. don't listen. Okay, that's okay. I the first the first question, teacher, is uh, have you ever seen a training program that did not address uh -huh. the specific needs of your workplaces? Not uh, is related directly with what we do. Correct. Ah, that okay. is correct. For yes. example, imagine that you are a math teacher. Yes. Do you need a class about biology or science? Maybe, maybe because we need, but it's not related directly with math. Correct. But I need it because I need to make application of math for that subject. Correct, correct. Yes, 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 that's, I understand. That's what it's referring to. For example, imagine they gave me a class to be a teacher about... A, dental uh dental assistant <laughs> yes. right nada que ver so yes that's what it's referring to okay. okay i would like for you to work in pairs and discuss the questions work in pairs and discuss the questions
one student can share the screen. Okay. And then you can discuss the questions. Madeline, can you share the screen? Yes, give me one second. Okay, please. Okay, thank okay. you, Do you ever attended a training program that did not address the specific needs of your workplace area? Uh, in my case, uh, sometimes I have been invited to meetings that is not related to my job. Um, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. In my case, so um, I didn't be in a in a training program. Uh, I I think that all the the training that I I was there I. Uh, I think that are good for me. Okay. In my case, I frequently have training. Not at all, but uh, frequently. Like everything that I receive is talking about the product that I work. So I guess it's no something that is not necessary. It's really necessary to get it because the next day you can receive a call talking about that. So, and you need to explain to the customer, you need to know the process. Okay. And the second one, does management or HR usually conduct service at your workplace to identify your training needs? Yes. Um, we uh, get a survey talking about the company, talking about the account that we work, and they identify the next and also is a training is needed. Okay. In, uh, my, I, in, okay. uh, in my case, uh, I think that yes because uh, I think that the company wants to to be a a better uh, company and I think that they are they care about all the things uh, in the environment with their uh, employees and uh, I think that when they don't have, uh, they doesn't have, when they don't, I'm sorry, when they don't have good results, eh, they see for the problems. And I think that they identify the needs of all. Okay, in my case, uh, they don't give me a survey on any day program the, the meetings and I don't have option to, to request what kind of training I need. Okay. 
but mostly they always have trainings related to, to my job. Because okay. we need uh, we need uh, legal trainings about laws and all that kind of, of legislation. Okay, and the number three. Three skills. Can you name the three skills of yours improved as a result of training programs you have taken? In my case, uh, the, the procedures that I have, I have to do, that, that's one of the skills that I have improved. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and, uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe to be more organized. Uh, I don't know, responsible. Mm -hmm. uh, also may or see the the the, the details and that something uh, can change all the results and that's like the things that <laughs> come in my mind right now. Okay. In my case, I guess that I get more knowledge, uh, organized, uh, efficient. Okay. Just that. Okay, so hold on. All right, guys, it's already time to go. Does anybody have any questions referring to the questions that we discussed in today's class? Or about the topics that we covered in today's class? Do you guys have any questions referring to that information? Um, what about tomorrow's? Are we going to receive the class? Uh, tomorrow, no class because of the Mother's Day uh, ah, okay. ho ho holiday. So tomorrow, don't worry about the class because we will not have class tomorrow. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. That was doubt this moment. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, see you Wednesday. David, you have to stay. Bye. Bye. Right, Good night. Good night. Bye. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Thank you. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night, guys. Hey, David. Hi, teacher. Tell me a little bit of your responses to the questions. Have you ever attended a training program? that did not address the specific needs of your workplace area? Yes, teacher, uh, some, a couple of months ago, I went to a seminar in a hotel in San Salvador. This seminar was about uh, brandy. Brandy oh, is I love positioning brandy. your, yes, I it's a very good topic. Branding. But uh, nothing to do with my, my job that is teaching math. Also, you are math. you are a math teacher. Yes, I am a math teacher. Yes, okay. for for middle and high school. Okay, I teach math for middle and high school. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes I teach another subject, but my main subject is math. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How long have you been teaching math? I think that I was teaching math all my life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I began when I, when I was in high school about the uh, 1970s. Wow, wow. Yes, when it was a, a very beautiful country with a country in peace. Mm-hmm. with a country with uh, uh, another time, another place. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, in, in, in 1980s, El, El Salvador was a, a leader in Central America. It really? was, a, a, yes, it was a, a, a above Costa Rica, above a, every country in El Salvador. There was a, a, a very big development. And uh, uh, the, 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 the El Salvador was a country in, not a country, uh, a third world country. It was a country of envia de desarrollo. Wow, wow. Okay. And, uh, there was under a, development, under development. Yes, yes. Uh, there was um, a plan for uh, making El Salvador one of the filial of Nissan. Nissan was uh, bought a, a very big part of El Salvador to make cars in El Salvador. Wow, nice. Uh, we have a plan of Texas Instruments. We have a plan of uh, a Japanese in Sinca that may, may uh, how do you say, tell us? Cloth. Cloth. Te- textiles. Textiles, yes, textiles. Mm-hmm. And they not only not only make textile, but uh, they prepare people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Prepare people from the people that Japanese prepared in El Salvador was a uh, uh, Ila Salen, another uh, enterprise uh, began, was born. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, all, all of the all of the money that uh, uh, investor want to bring to El Salvador uh, uh, because the war because the civil war all of the money went to singapore oh. singapore was was a country like us a poor country uh under an uh, underdeveloped country and the war is uh, make a big 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 uh, uh, effect in, in el salvador we were different we were wow. different but uh in that time, I, I was studying in high school and I teach math in, uh, to my colleagues, to my partners in school. And the, and the principal of school asked me if I want to teach the next year math. And then I teach one time and then I went to do another things. But uh, many years ago, I returned to teach math. I, I was teaching math for about uh, four years. Okay, okay. And um, have you ever thought about different ways to make a passive income? Uh, I, I think, in, and sometimes I, I made some, some minor investment, but always uh, I lost the money. <laughs> what kind of investments have you made? Uh, investment in some products and uh, some uh, uh, some uh, 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 like a, a virtual currency and another type of investment but uh, you need to stay there you need to stay there to to make sure that your incomes uh, it will be well well management and for that time i i <laughs> I see it so 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 cynic about that. <laughs> yeah, you know, because like for example, in my case, uh, right now, I am investing in a platform, and the okay. name of the platform is called Omega Pro. So the the platform you invest, for example, if you invest one hundred dollars. In 16 months, you receive $300. If you invest $500, in 16 months, you receive $1,500. Wow. 
So you basically earn 200% profit on the investment. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I, I work it with a platform like that, but uh, uh, I, I, I told you that uh, you need to stay there to, to see how the money goes on. And uh, I, I have some bad experience about that. Really, you lost your money? Yes. How? Uh, I don't know. The, uh, suddenly, the, the, well, some of, of the guys uh, have problems with uh, uh, some uh, uh, banks in El Salvador and in Central America, and, and they need to go out of El Salvador and they disappear. What was the name of that company? I don't remember, but it was working with cryptocurrencies. Oh, Paxful, maybe. Yes, yes. Paxful, could be, could be. Okay. Well, uh, for me, it's going great right now. Um, I receive daily deposits every day, daily deposits. So I can't complain and uh i feel excited you know new opportunities chivo wallet bitcoin it's a new world and i love it and i want yes. to be part of it and there are different ways that you can earn an income or a passive income uh, investing on different platforms it's a possibility you can earn up to 500 to 600 dollars a, a month passive income but you know it takes time little by little it takes time it's not something that will happen overnight yes, it's something yes, that yes. takes time to develop to learn in the process you're going to lose money sometimes so yes. right you you can't uh, make you can't make money in every investment yes yes that is that is true. All right. Well, I hope that you enjoy your Mother's Day with your mom. And we will see you back on Wednesday. Okay, teacher. Nice to talk with you, teacher. Hey, me too. Me too. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Have a good night. Okay. Good night, teacher. Good night.